Okay, so here we are. Another episode of Eating Your Feed, the show where we make food from viral videos as challenged by the man behind the camera, Adam Bianchi. And today we're making giant cinnamon rolls. We have our good friend, colleague, tasty producer, Ray McClenney, to help us when we're surely gonna need help. Are you a very good baker? Oh no. It's a place called Lulu's Bakery Cafe. They make a three pound cinnamon roll. I don't know if I'm gonna go with pound. How many cats? Do you measure things by cat in Japan? <laughs> it's pretty satisfying watching a giant sheet of dough get folded. It looks like a blanket. Now we got this tasty video where some guy tried to recreate it. So I'm thinking about maybe doubling or even tripling this recipe to get like a really satisfying big sheet of dough. We're gonna have to do so much math. This is the now the math show. Are you excited? Oh. <laughs> Look, somebody else left their shopping list. Oh, cute. Three cups of powdered sugar. No oh, yeast came like that. Yeah, so the yeast comes. We did it. Ready? Math. Oh, right in the. Right in the kisser. Chocolate milk? We need a snack to get us going. So here we've got all of our ingredients. Get some chocolate milk. Do you like chocolate milk? I'm lactose intolerant. Will you have a little bit? Sure. <laughs> Let's do this. We have our butter, milk, sugar, 10 pounds of flour. That's a cat's worth of flour. First thing we're gonna do is put together the dough. Add warm milk to a large bowl. We begin. Six cups of milk. Oh, we need to measure one and a half cups of melted butter. What? I think it's great that butter comes in sticks. I'm gonna measure the sugar. So the sugar is the yeast's food. That's a lot of sugar. It's a giant cinnamon roll. Oh God. <laughs> got our packs of yeast. I'm gonna get a knife to level off the... Uh... Okay, got a knife. Level that off. One, two-ish, three, four, five, six. What is that, six? That's seven, right? 12, that's 12. It was 12. We've got our warm to the touch milk. Melted butter goes in there. Next, I think the sugar. All right, yeast is going in. So we're letting the yeast become activated in this warm, sugary pool so that it can start eating sugar and farting, which creates the gas that makes bread rise. 12 cups of flour. Now we're making dough, look at that. It's already dough-like. Is that a blanket? Yeah. Leave it in a warm place. This place is pretty warm, right? Setting a timer for one hour. Cool. Time to add flour, baking powder, and salt. Oh shit, I don't have salt. What salts do I want to use if I'm baking something? No, you think kosher, kosher is fine? Kosher is always good for cooking. I've got the salt. Kind of feels like, like a really high-tech foam for like a space-age pillow. So we're adding six teaspoons of salt right now. That feels like more than six. Yeah, I did 12. Oh, 12, yes. Okay, how much baking powder? Three teaspoons, so, so six, six of these. More flour, two and one quarter. Can you get all the filling ready? Yeah, well, so we'll just divide and conquer. Actually, fun thing I just learned from a history podcast, Divide and conquer comes from Roman times and it means to divide the people that you're conquering so that they're weaker, not you split yourself and conquer them. Pull it together now. Ooh, that's a weird texture. Uh, all right, oh. I'm just gonna dump it out. Here we are. So we just knead it together now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rie, poke it. Yeah, it's bouncing back. So it's good. This doesn't feel right. I feel like it's still the same shape. <laughs> Why don't we just turn this into a pizza? And also it's not gonna be giant. Just imagine you finish rolling it up. It's more like you're making a bunch of small cinnamon roll size. So what do we do to make this giant? Maybe if we just... It's not gonna make six giant cinnamon rolls. Right. So we should try to make two as big as possible and just make this a longer, fatter rectangle that we'll get two out of. Yeah, we're doing the cinnamon part. We're gonna mix all of our cinnamon and sugar in here. It's like a World War I helmet. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Ooh, 
Oh, it's so cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon toast crunch. That's a very satisfying color. Okay, so we're gonna dump this warm butter onto the dough first before putting the cinnamon mixture on. Ooh, <laughs> that feels good. I'm just gonna do it quick. And then you like massage it in and make those clumps. Oh, it feels so unusual. Okay, let's roll this bad boy up. You hold it together, I'm gonna go get the knife and cut it okay. in half. Get this ready. So I'm gonna go cut side up at him. This isn't I gotta butter that? Hold it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ooh. So now we let it rest for another half an hour. <laughs> Hopefully they'll still be cinnamon roll shaped by the end of that, and then they go in the oven for a little over an hour. We left the oven preheating. Now we're gonna transfer the cinnamon rolls into this one with more enforced walls. Don't forget butter the pan. Does it need more butter? Uh. Oh, it's tilting. Yeah, there you go, buddies. Big boys. It looks a little scary, but looks good. Oh, that was Ooh, it's not, it's, I think we need one more. Then do half of it. Do you want to learn how to wrap properly? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. So oh. elegant. Should we put this in a warm place or just is this fine? I think just leave as is. I don't want them to get very much bigger. <laughs> I think they've gotten too giant. They've gotten less circular and more like skinny blob. All right, let's pop these in the oven. We definitely just f***ed that whole thing up. Oh my God. They're gigantic. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it's definitely raw at the bottom. So they feel pretty hard on top. <laughs> well, keep it together. So I don't want it to get any darker on top. So I'm just gonna cover it with some foil. Okay. Another 30 minutes to go. So now we'll prepare the frosting. We're gonna go with the cream cheese frosting that's in the Tasty video. Four ounces cream cheese times three. Two tablespoons butter melted times three. Powdered sugar. Teaspoon vanilla extract. Six tablespoons of this. Should have cubed it. I mean, it's good, it's just chunky. I'm gonna get an electric mixer. We can't fix this. Ah, oh, we didn't soften our cream cheese and now our frosting is chunky. The cheese flavor is very prevalent. Delete this part of the video. I can't put it on my beautiful, perfect cinnamon roll. So we the cream cheese, didn't soften it. Now we're trying again. So we're gonna dial back the cream cheese, use a little bit more sugar. That's gonna be that. Okay, timer's up, so we're gonna split duties. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> we accidentally touched it too much after we let it rest before it went in the oven, so they deflated a bit. We're not sure if these are actually done. Yeah, it's done. Okay. I feel like more than... Oh, so we overdid it. Yeah. Cool. Like oh, how should we get it out? Oh. I think just flip it upside down. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Got it, we got it, we got it. Wow, look at that. Oh, I smushed cool. it, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> this is basting? That's what they do in the Texas video. They baste it with butter. Yeah, there you go. Which one do you think looks better? I think this one. Okay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a giant cinnamon roll. It looks more like a loaf of something than a roll of any kind. Really, with any cinnamon roll, you want to be able to tear into it. Oh, it's so, ah, oh, it's so hot inside. And get that tear away, oh. delicious flakiness. Oh, just the steam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not bad. The texture isn't quite right, but it does taste like a Cinnabon. You want to try something? <laughs> yeah, you look like a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good. 
No. I think we went too big. I think probably the cafe in Texas did this same thing where they made it too big. Yeah, I don't know why we thought we could beat them at their own game. Yeah, that's a cinnamon roll. Oh, I'm starting to not feel good. Too much sugar, I think. Yeah, I just had one bite, but like my heart is beating so fast. It might just be the excitement of giant food. So there's a guy downstairs named Scott. He is obsessed with cinnamon rolls. He's actually the guy who made the giant cinnamon roll tasty video. So we're gonna gift him our second giant cinnamon roll. Because what could make a guy happier than a pretty bad giant version of his favorite dessert? All right, we made a giant cinnamon roll, Scott. We uh, referenced wow. your video. So I'd like you to try a little bit and tell me what you think. We actually tripled your recipe. This weighed 5.5 pounds. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I mean, a giant cinnamon roll makes pretty much anybody's day. Mission accomplished, you guys. Oh, yes! <laughs>